Hi, I'm Peter Canning, paramedic and EMS coordinator at UConn John Dempsey Hospital. Connecticut is grappling with an opioid overdose crisis. Fatal overdoses have killed over 10,000 Connecticut residents since 2012. Four people die every day in Connecticut due to fatal overdose. The majority of these deaths are due to fentanyl poisoning. Fentanyl, which is 50 times stronger than heroin, has largely replaced heroin in the drug supply. It appears in traditional wax folds and is pressed into fake pills. Because the drugs are not made in pharmaceutical laboratories, the portion of illicit fentanyl varies widely from bag to pill. The inability of users to judge the dose has led to increased poisonings and deaths, even among experienced users. First responders play a critical role in the crisis. Through recognition, treatment, and empathetic care of those experiencing overdose and by offering them avenues to treatment and harm reduction services. Let's talk about recognition. When encountering a possible opioid overdose, look for one or more of these signs. Slow, shallow, or absent breathing. Unresponsiveness or unconsciousness pale, cold, or blue skin, pinpoint pupils, signs of drug use such as needles, pills, and wax folds. For treatment, gently shake the patient. Stimulation can increase respiration and restore consciousness. Check for pulse and respirations. If the person does not rouse but is breathing, apply oxygen. If the patient has deeply depressed or absent respirations, begin bag valve mask ventilation. If you have two responders, have one responder hold the seal on the patient's face and the second squeeze the bag. If the patient still fails to breathe effectively, administer naloxone. For the four milligram Narcan device, tilt the person's head back while supporting the neck with one hand. Insert the device in one nostril with the other hand. Push the plunger briskly with your thumb. For the two milligram naloxone device, connect the tubing with the atomizer. Remove the yellow caps on the plastic tube. Screw on the white cone, the atomizer. Connect the vial to the bottom of the tube. Spray half of the vial up each nostril by pushing the vial up through the tube. Wait at least three minutes before giving a second dose. Observe if the patient's respirations have picked up. Respirations improve before consciousness. Our goal is to restore adequate breathing, not necessarily to wake the patient up. Continue rescue breathing until a person breathes on their own. Response to a single dose can be quick or take five minutes or more. Once resuscitated, a person can be confused or agitated. Some may be in opioid withdrawal, characterized by sweating, rapid heart rate, and trembling. Some confusion can be attributed to the lack of oxygen a person suffered during the overdose. First responders should reassure the patient. Tell them they overdosed. They were given naloxone because they were not breathing adequately encourage them to rest. Don't blame the person for overdosing. Most overdoses are unintentional due to the unpredictable nature of the drug supply. Substance use disorder is a medical disease, not a character flaw. Many addictions start with an injury or a past trauma. Do not judge, show empathy. Patients who perceive they are being treated by compassionate responders are more likely to seek help than those who are blamed for their behavior. Resuscitated patients should receive a full evaluation by EMS and should be encouraged to go to the hospital. If they are alert and oriented, they have a right to refuse transport to the hospital. Those who continue to refuse should be asked if they know how to access help if they need it, if they have naloxone at home or if they know where to obtain it. Many EMS services are now providing naloxone leave-behind kits with available resources for those instances. 
Here are some opioid myths. Myth one, touching fentanyl can be lethal. This is false. The mere touching of fentanyl cannot cause overdoses. If you believe you've gotten fentanyl on you, wash it off with soap and water. Do not use alcohol-based products. Myth two, resuscitated patients are always combative. This is false. While agitation and confusion can occur, true combativeness is rare. Myth three, overdoses are always intentional. This is false. The unpredictable nature of Connecticut's drug supply and the strength of fentanyl make it impossible for users to gauge their dose. Even experienced users can suffer accidental overdose if they use alone. First responders play a vital role in the overdose crisis through recognition, emergency treatment, and empathetic care for those who have overdosed. We know how stressful this can be. We thank you for taking the time to be trained and for your dedicated service to the citizens of Connecticut.